put holes through beaters. Ghetto fast, go through cheaters, falling. Hello. So I'm Michelle, and I'm, I'm here to talk about something I'm really passionate about, and that's getting results. So life is all about getting results, right? We are always trying to move from here to there. So whether you're in a business, home, family, organization, here to there. And it'd be really cool if we could get from here to there, like in a magic speedboat, which should be popping up like right about in a minute. Because we know what we want, right? We know what it looks like, we know where it is, and we want it now. We are a now society. And there it is. That's so awesome cool. So it'd be cool if we can just get in our speedboat and make it happen. But in the real world, and if you have one of those and that works for you, let me know. But from what I have found, real life doesn't really work that way. Getting from here to there is more like being in a rowboat. And we usually have people in our rowboat. And uh, our rowboat's on water, and sometimes it's calm, and sometimes it's rough, and sometimes we can't figure out which way the wind's blowing and it's twirling us around. But what I find really fascinating is a lot of times we insist on just using one oar in our rowboat. And that one oar is verbally communicating where we're going. So we tell people what we do, we tell them what they're supposed to do, where they're supposed to sit. And uh, sometimes that doesn't work out so well. Has this ever happened to anybody? You know, you, you've told them where to go, damn it. Why aren't they doing it? Flips over, people are wet, they're mad, frustrated, blaming each other, really doesn't serve its purpose. So what I think we need is to realize words alone don't work. They just don't cut it. There's so much room for people to do, get disconnected. They assume stuff, they don't listen, they ignore you. I mean, we've all been there. And we want our results now. Here's where I want you to, to listen. Uh, we really need to learn how to connect with people. Connection is what will really help you get a result. Connecting is what people need to get involved. So connection is like a magical second or. And it's very, very cool because when you connect with people, they can start to help you get your results. But the thing about this, this second or called connection is uh, you have to actually make it. It doesn't just appear. You can't buy it from 1-800-ORS-OR-US. You have to put in some time and effort and make it. So tonight, I'm going to give the real quick five quick and dirty lessons on how to, to build connection to make your rowboat go from here to there. So first off, you need to establish a connection. We are human beings, and we need connection. I need to know that you know that I'm here and that I'm valued. And that creates a kind of glue between us. And this glue is really like a chemical thing in your brain. So when you have a good reaction with somebody, that makes a deposit. And if somebody pisses you off, that's kind of like a little withdrawal from that account. So you want to build positive connections with people. It sticks in their brain. Next, you really want to make people feel valued. So picture this like a... Uh, Self-esteem piggy bank. When you tell somebody they did a good job, you tell them you value them, they helped you out, it's like feeding their piggy bank. And that, that's really good. People, who, who doesn't want high self-esteem? That'll help people in your boat. Third, people need to use their skills. This is, again, a chemical reaction. So when you do something and you did it good, somebody tells you you did it good, you naturally want to do it again. So recognize the people in your boat. Let them do what they're good at. Another thing. People need to create and innovate, okay? People need to be a part of on that journey from here to there on the boat. So you, they want to be a part to say, I did that. I was a part of it. Let them do that. And last, people need to feel safe. So if you're in your boat rowing along and things are rough and you keep threatening to throw somebody out of the boat, they're probably not going to help you so much get to where you're going. So people need these five things. People need to feel connected be valued, they need to use your skill sets, create and innovate, and they need to feel safe. So when you're in your mode of trying to get your results, don't just rely on those words. We're always trying to get something, aren't we? No matter if you're in work, your family, an organization, we're trying to move that boat from here to there. And it's really worth the time and the investment to make the Second or, build those connections, make it happen. It'll help you get where you want to go a lot, lot faster. So in closing, I just want to say that the words alone don't work. And that second or is always there. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And, and when you're trying to get your results, you don't want to create your own drag.
Thanks. Oh, cool. I go on and on and on and cool. Take them to the crib.